Hey everyone, do you like concept art? Today I'm excited to take you on a journey through the creative process as we digitally sketch character costume ideas for my original character, Drema, which will eventually go on her completed concept art sheet. She's a salamander-like alien from a science fiction novel I'm currently developing, and I'm in the process of crafting her portfolio piece for my visual development Master's of Fine Arts degree. Join me as we explore three designs for Drama's outfit and discover the one that best captures her essence. The final three outfits will be revealed at the end of the video, so stay tuned and enjoy the process. Let's jump into the world of character design with Drama's costume concept art. Each design offers a unique perspective on her character and journey. The first design that you'll see me working on here, and chosen by my patrons, is a very casual outfit. She needed an outfit that she can wear for a majority of what I would hope to be a video game or potentially the book. She spends a lot of her time on a ship that is run by a rebel alliance, and this outfit is casual and it's very simple. Simple doesn't always mean bad, and in this particular case, it was really fun letting my patrons decide what she was going to wear. The second sketch presents a more utilitarian approach, drawing inspiration from typical prison uniforms, but infused with a science fiction twist to reflect Drema's time spent incarcerated. A good chunk of the very beginning of the book, she is in a prison system, unjustly captured by a totalitarian, militaristic, science, government, they're awful. So I needed to create a prison uniform for her that would prevent her from touching other people. Her skin is very toxic and they reasonably would want to prevent her from doing as much damage as possible. The suit, however, needs to keep her moist and warm because she is an amphibian. So it was really interesting trying to create something that was visually compelling while also making sure that it kept the narrative in mind. I probably will use this design later on in another part of her character sheet. This one didn't end up making the final cut, but I still really like it a lot. It's very sleek, but I think still also drives home that sci-fi feel. Finally, the third design draws a lot of inspiration from my favorite concept artists, and I wanted to take a little bit of a neon punk approach to this entire thing. While the outfit that my patrons chose was very cute, I realized she would be pretty cold and also it may be dangerous for other people to be around her if so much of her skin is exposed. I stuck with the idea of a cat suit from the prison uniform, but then decided to give her a couple of fun accessories like a jacket and some kind of oxygen mask. I don't know what kind of air Drama breathes on her planet, but Depending on the places that she's going in this novel, she may not always be able to breathe the air of the planets that she lands on. Shape design became very important for this particular outfit. I wanted her to seem friendly because she is supposed to be a relatable main character, but she also has an air of danger about her because of her toxic skin. Using the principles of shape design, I've combined triangles and circles to hopefully create something that is alien, it's unexpected, but it's still elegant and still beautiful in a way. She's got big round eyes and a round head and round soft lips, but then these really dramatic angular shoulder pads and lots of triangles on her jacket. They're sharp and they're uninviting. Plot twist, there's a fourth design. I actually forgot I ended up working on this one because I decided that the prison uniform should be something that is reserved for the rest of the concept art. I really liked it a lot. I thought it was fine as is, so I moved it off to the side and challenged myself to come up with another extra design. This particular design became a lot grungier with lots of buckles and straps on it. If I had to pick a material that it was made out of, I think it would be leather. It's still pretty form-fitting, but it has its own unique character compared to the third design. With the implementation of the face mask, it almost becomes kind of Dune-inspired, and I really liked the crustiness of this particular outfit, although I don't know if I was necessarily super satisfied with the shape design. And then came the hard part. I ended up separating all of her outfits out and creating silhouettes from them so I could see which one was the strongest. Alright, that being said, do you like outfit number one, the casual rebel outfit? Outfit number two, the outfit with the strong shoulder pads and triangle shapes, or outfit number three. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. 
With that being said, after thoughtful deliberation and input from my patrons, I'm thrilled to announce the final winning design. It was number three. I really liked the shapes on this, and I think everyone else did too. It's a dynamic silhouette, and it's got lots of bold features on it that perfectly encapsulate Drema's evolution throughout the story from this kind of timid, unsure protagonist to this force to be reckoned with. What I really like about this is how sharp the silhouette is, and I had a lot of fun with the intricate details, especially the neon. I think that this outfit really embodies her courage, her edge, her determination, and her defiance against the status quo. But the design process doesn't end here. I have a whole concept art sheet to create, one that includes the front and the back of the character, color palettes, and loads more. So if you're interested in seeing how this concept art piece comes together and how it goes from just a sketch to being something that I can put into my graduate portfolio, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss the next video. If you like her design, don't forget to hit the like button and definitely comment which outfit is your favorite. If you have any thoughts or suggestions for future videos, feel free to share them with me too. Until next time, keep creating and stay inspired. Bye for now.